Hey guys, it's Alex from Shuffle Up with another OPO4 deck list just for you guys. And we have here today the Dofi film deck that just came out with the uh, OPO4 support. Dofi is a beast, it's a very small package and does a lot. And then you can just add the film card to that and it does so well. Guys, get ready for one of the awesomest decks you'll ever see in this format. Let's go straight to the deck list. Let's start off with talking about the leader. Don Quixote Doflamingo is one of the most awesome green purple multi leaders ever and it's the, one of the few times I can say having full life does not matter because his defenses are so strong you will not have to worry about life especially in that later part of the game. His ability is at the end of every turn you get to take two of you Don and make it active. For those of you players out there that like Don efficiency and always keeping those two Don up at the end of the turn for something amazing don't even worry about giving that to Don up. It's going to be up for you. This is insane. Purple and green players rejoice because you have yourself a leader for the playstyle that you love the most. Um, that two Don active at the end of each turn puts a lot of uh, cool cards active that you really need to keep yourself alive during the game. So talk about more about those cards towards the end of this deck build. But first, let's go through the two different packages. Let's start off with the Dofi package. So Doflamingo, um, Don Quixote... Uh, is a very small package. I'll actually show you how little cards there is. We play for Sugar. Now, sh Sugar is really good at stalling the game because you play it, and on the turn you play it, you um, tap down and rest one of your opponent's uh, monsters, which allows you to get rid of it most of the time. Um, but at the same time, anytime your opponent summons a creature, um, uh, a unit that is any unit, Oh, when your opponent plays a character, uh, if your leader is the Don Quixote Pirate, rest one of your opponent's characters and then rest this character. <laughs> I didn't read it. I thought there was a cost limit to this. It's just any character. You can tap anything down. This is a pest, actually. I thought it was just limited to five costs or less. After reading the card properly, oh, wow. Um, it's actually the original ability, which is on play, rest the character of four or less. But her ability, once she's already on the board, is when your opponent summons something, Tap her and tap any monster in the field. It doesn't have to be a monster they play. You can tap any monster in the field. So it's such a good control card. Um, very good. you got to play it at four. It's so simple. Um, <laughs> and I didn't read that card so well. I play one Diamante. Um, you don't need to play it. It's actually um, just there because I got the ult. Um, but it's really active all the time because your Doflamingo um, leader can actually, uh, because the two Don is active at the end of each turn, its requirement is one Don underneath it. You can attack with it, and at the end of the turn, if you have two Don active, you can restand it. So it's always live because of your Doflamingo leader. Still a good blocker to play, so I play one of it. Um, we do love our blockers in this deck. And then the final cards in the package is Don Quixote, Doflamingo, 10 drop at 4. He's the key part of this deck. He's the linchpin of the deck that you need to play. Um, but essentially, the core of the Doflamingo deck is 4 Sugar, 4 Doflamingo. That's it. It's a very small core to make this deck active and everything else you can just do whatever else you want. What most people found would work well with um, Doflamingo is to play the complete film package and since we have access to purple and green we can play both the um, the Luffy Pir uh, Straw, Hat, Straw Hat Pirates um, film cards as well as the purple ones from the structure deck ST05. So let's go into the film package that we play because um, it's pretty much the rest of the um, meat and veggies of the deck. Um, and uh, supports the Doflamingo play. Oh, before I go into that, let me just discuss why Doflamingo is so great. Uh, <laughs> you want to basically draw into him. You're trying to draw out the game until you have him into your hand. Even if you don't see any of your draw of your film cards, if you see this in your hand opening, keep it. This is the card you want. You're building your game out to get to this card, or multiples of this card. When he plays, on play, you can freeze three of the characters. So after they've attacked into you, you can then freeze the characters, stopping their play. They don't untap the next turn. It's such a great way of like getting control of the board. And it's such a good st stat line as well, 10 for 10. Um, so you're freezing three cards, including the leader. Doesn't have to be a character, it can also be a leader. Um, you get, you're coming in, you're getting control of the board, you're destroying things when you can. Um, they don't untap, so they stay rested, so you can have two turns to get rid of them. It's insane, actually. Like It's a really good um, effect, and you need to play it at four. It's your main linchpin. So, now going into the film package that we were about to go into just a second ago. We play in the one drops, uh, Buena Vista at three. I actually want to play this at four, but I can't find my fourth one. 
So um, if you have your fourth one, um, I have a substitute card in this deck, but play the fourth one. Really good 2k counter as well, and on play, you can look up to do five cards of your deck, get one film card, um, and then add it to, other than Bona Vista, and add it to your hand, and then place the rest at the bottom of your deck. Really good um, searcher for all film cards, including your green film cards from the Straw Hats film deck that we were playing in OPO3. Uh, talking about that deck, we have Tony Tony Chopper, really good 2k counter. Mostly just a 2k counter that you can search for, but also every now and then you can use its ability to rest the cost two or less. But most of the time I'm just using this as a 2k counter, a searchable 2k counter at, at that, which is really good. Uh, talking about 2k counters, we have Shiki. A really good um, film card, also searchable, but uh, you probably only search it as a 2k counter. Uh, but its trigger is not too bad either. Don minus one and then play this card and it's a two free. So you can add two Don to it and make it an attacking unit. So it's actually not too bad sometimes to play its trigger effect. But most of the time you want it in your hand as um, as a 2k counter. Then going to the free drops, we have Nami. Um, Nami is a really good searcher. Its on play ability is just like on play, pay one mana. Um, look at three of the top cards, reveal a film card, put it into your hand. It's so good. And every time it attacks, it also does the same thing. It's just always filtering through your deck, searching, uh, drawing a card. It's plus one in every turn. Um, I would also play it at four, um, but I only have three at the moment. So um, you guys can play it at four if you guys have that fourth Nami. Roro no Zoro, um, this is a 4-6 stat line, can be played out with uh, Monkey D. Luffy, uh, which is a uh, free uh, double play, and it ends up being a pretty good stat line for attacking into your opponent and getting rid of your opponent's creatures. Also another searchable film card, <laughs> we have so many film cards. Uh, Uta, 4 drop, uh, this is a good blocker, its ability with Don minus 1 is really good, but don't use it all willy nilly, you don't always want to be negging your Don because you really want to play your Doflamingo as early as possible. This slows you, slows you down, doesn't get you to Doflamingo as faster. Um, so, as fast, sorry. And that's why you need to be very sparing um, with how you use its ability, but the Don minus one to rest another one of your opponent's characters with a cost of five or less can end up stalling the game really good when you have no other options and no other counters in hand. Really good blocker, one of the best. We play two Guild Tessero. Um, I played two because it was bricking at four. Uh, it's really good after the fact. So this is like your late game card. Most people, like you don't play it on turn um, turn three or four. You play it like turn six, way after you've played Doflamingo because when you have 10 Don already, minusing two Don is not an issue because you're gonna get that two Don back next turn. Um, and yeah, so this basically just draws you two cards for free at the end of the game, like uh, when you're just trying to clean it up. But don't play this early because it's just gonna actually hurt you um, and your ramp to Doflamingo and may maybe cost you a game. But it's actually a late game card. That's why I did only play it too, because you don't want to see it and brick your hand with it. Um, it's so much better when you play this after you play your Doflamingos, when you're at 10 Dawn. And um, let's talk about our, one of our best film cards, Monkey D. Luffy. This is awesome art, same art as my play mat. I love the art. I've always been waiting to play a, a competitive version of the film deck because of this art. Um, it is, Oh, so awesome. I can't say anything else about this card. The, the, just the art of it is so um, impactful and um, I use it with red sleeves so it just blends in with the, the actual background of the card. It's so good. Chef's kits to this, this art. But the actual card itself is actually as nuts as the art is. Uh, blocker card. So it's a 7k blocker, one of the biggest stat line blockers for 7k, but it's ability on play. Play up to one film card from your hand. That's a cost of four or less. So you're playing your um, your, either your another Nami, if you have another option, you're playing your Ronora Zoros, or you're playing your Utos for free. This is going on the board. <laughs> this, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. That is, you get, you get two for the price of one. It's the best sale you ever get in One Piece history. So good, so much value. One of the best cards in the game. Uh, talking about value, five drop queen from the structure deck. Um, it's structure deck four queen is one of the best hand fixes in the game. Uh, it's not li uh, like limited to just a theme, so you don't have to worry about looking for a film or dress rosa. This ends up being really good and is a must play, even using its ability minus one Don. This is a time when minusing one Don is necessary because it's one of your best ways of getting to your Don Quixote Do Flamingo 10 drop faster. And if you're lucky, you can get multiples in your hand too. So, very good blocker. Definitely play this at three or four. Um, it's also a 1k counter, but you, you, most of the time I'm playing it, it's very useful. That's for the packages, like you have your huge film package and then you have your very small Don Quixote Pirates package which is just so good for the, the small amount of value that it is. Um, 
If you really like your Don Quixote package and you really want to get into it, you can also play Don Quixote Pirates, which is the event card that searches for it. But really, you don't need to because your film is your, um, your, your main bread and butter, um, getting those blockers down and having that film control. And then drawing into Don Quixote Pirates as you go is like the way you really want to play this game, um, in my opinion, at least. So let's talk about using the two Don that's active at the end of each turn. So you have your two Don active at the end of each turn from your leader's ability. So you really want to <laughs> max out the number of two drop events you have in your deck so you can counter with them in your opponent's attack phase. One of the best cards that come out of OPO4 is the two drop card Spiderweb. Spiderweb is insane. Up to one of your leader characters gain plus 4,000 and then set one of your characters as active. Chef's Kiss is the best and it comes with a trigger that also gives you plus 2,000 to your leader. Also slowing down your opponent's attack phases in the aggro phase, so um, in the early parts of the game. So this card is so good. It's one of the best two drop um, cards that actually exist um, for countering. So definitely play this at four. Really good card, Spiderweb. We play um, only one of these. I was playtesting this, but it's not as good as I hoped it was. Union Armada saves your film cards. It's so easy. It's like the best way to save your film cards. But when you need to protect your leader, it does not come in handy because it only does uh, plus 4,000 to film type leader or character. So it's so good at keeping your utils alive. So good at keeping anything alive. And then the secondary part of the effect is that card, um, that, that character card, if it's a character, cannot be KO'd for the rest of the turn. So they can't, even after tapping it down and swinging into it, they can't KO it, KO it for the rest of the turn. It's no longer a target. So good. Um, but you really want cards to protect your leader. And so we played two Punk Gibson instead, because this is another plus 4,000 and then rest one of your opponent's character for or less. So another kind of like great card, uh, not as good as Spiderweb because Spiderweb allows you to restand one of your blockers, but still just as good being able to bring, hopefully turn off one of your opponent's extra attacks. So good, such a great card. Punk Gibson at two. And then we play Thunder Bagua because plus 4,000 power and um, give yourself an extra Don. This is like, especially because we're playing cards like Uta and Queen where you're negging Dons, this can help bring you back to the Dawn where you were at before. So this kind of like fixes your deck. It's not even, it might be even worth playing four of these, but I can't fit it in my deck at the moment. Um, so two is the, the, the right amount for me. And it's a really good card because it fixes your Dawn um, by adding another Dawn from your Dawn deck and adding it to your um, uh, unactive Dawn. Uh, but you need to have two life alerts. So it's probably like, I see it too early sometimes and it's just not as useful as like a Punk Gibson or as a Spiderweb. So I put it down to two. And that's all my 2k um, counters. Now, sometimes you want to keep a bit more Don active because you have this in your hand. The one of the weak do not have the right to choose how they die. Awesome card, completely broken for what it is. It can be used on your turn or your opponent's turn. That's very important to remember because its ability is to rest up to one of your opponent's leaders or character cards, then KO up to one of your opponent's rested characters with a cost of six or less. So they swing into you with a this five cost, for example. You play this, you destroy that, um, they swing at you again. Um, you play, if you play this, rest one of the other creatures, um, destroy the rest of the creature. So you essentially destroy something that already attacked and then rest something so they can't attack with it. It's really good. And then even then on your opponent's turn, you can just rest and destroy a blocker like that and just go for game. Very good card. It's situational, only play at one, but when you see it, you see it and you love it. Really good, really good card. And that's it, that's the Dofi deck guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, Dofi is going to be one of the bigger decks in this format, I believe. Um, it needs a good pilot though, because there is two different themes happening and you need to understand how they uh, all work. And you also need to be able to manage your Don and your resources very well. And just get lucky and make sure you have that 2k event, sorry, 2 drop event in hand when you need it. And if sometimes you get unlucky and you don't draw into any 2 drop events and you have 2 Don up for no reason, that's when it hurts because you're not getting the value of that 2 Don you're stacking up every, at the end of every turn of your leader's ability. And guys, we can't end this video without going for a little bit of gameplay. So here we are in a little matchup against a uh, upgraded version of the Monkey D. Luffy structure deck. Um, I had the mulligan in that hand because it was a good hand for a different matchup. But in this, I need a bit more um, uh, of a kind of early game to try and make sure I can get some physical presence on the board. The initial hand had Dofi and usually I would keep that. But this hand has a two drop to allow me to save my life early on. So that way I can uh, basically get board control and build more resources. So straight away on my second turn, as we we're going second, play the uh, film Utah, and then swing at life, try and get some cards out of his hand. We've got the 
uh, sugar on the board and that in itself is pretty much a uh, easy way to control the game very early it costs so little only two don um, and you basically will see that anytime the opponent plays something we'll be tapping that down and um, really annoying them with our sugar presence so he's draw two trash two he's had to give get rid of a subbo and uh, that's which is very painful he's trying to get rid of the sugar now because he realizes it's a pest um, we are going to block and add a counter to basically say you're not getting rid of sugar this early we need her for a bit longer uh prepare for a long game my man so <laughs> it comes back to me on this turn we're going to play a our search of nami and be able to search out uh another film card we got the film zora here i could have gone for uh girl toro but uh, we don't need it we already have one in hand i don't think i'll be needing it this game either it's really just win more ah uh, there's our first doffy going down so it's pretty unlucky so um we know there's still three more doffies in the deck so let's hope we don't mill any more to the bottom of our deck but we still get another army out of that, which means we are going to have a lot of fun in terms of playing out a film strategy this game. And with that sugar on the board to really put pressure, it allows us to control the game a bit more. I swung at him with our leader. He did just kind of out of it. So we hope that he plays something first. Um, yes, okay, so we can tap down his sabo. This is why sugar is so great, because we can tap any of his cards down. It doesn't have to be the one he just plays. He's now really, really wanting to get rid of that sugar. We block out of it. We use the... Um, counter as well to just make sure that it's a little bit he should have put a bit more don here if he wanted to really get rid of sugar um and or um the utah now we get to play the second nami that we searched and we can either take this nami or the film card but i feel like union armado in this case is going to be a killer card because we'll be able to basically protect any of our um searches or film cards from being destroyed in a turn so let's put a don on um, our leader and tack in for six to try and get rid of Sabo, control the board uh, that's what Dofi really likes to do is control the board and have those two drop um, two drop counters in hand. Uh, try and don up and then we get the search. We found a Luffy, which is really, really good. Luffy is such good value once you reach this part of the game. And he just counters on that. So I think here we're just going to have to... Uh, do we swing with Uta? Hmm. It's a hard one. I think we're just going to pass turnover. Um, oh no, actually we'll swing. Try and get rid of Sabo. He's only got one card in hand. He's going to be forced to lose at least the blocker. Um, but now we've really put our cards at risk. Um, and if he plays another card, we can sugar to tap it down. But he'll probably try and get rid of one of our cards. This is where the Union Amado off the top was actually a really good play. So watch this. So we're going to just like... Probably just Union... Yeah, we'll Union Room Amado this. So he can't even destroy it even if he wanted to. So... It's for the rest of the turn that this card cannot be destroyed when we use a Union Armado. So we get the count out of that. It didn't even need to be more than the attack because we know that it cannot be killed. It's immune to being KO'd for the rest of the turn. Um, and that's in itself great. So he has to go for the Uta. I think we're good with the Uta now. We don't need it anymore. Um, we have outpaced our opponent. We've got more resources. We'll drop the Luffy. Get the free Zoro on the board for more pressure. Get rid of our one drop Buena Fiesta. Fiesta. And then we'll... Don up, I think, Nami. Swing with that. And see if he counters, uh, counters or blocks out of it. We'll take the Uta. Having more blockers as well is just going to allow us to control the game even further and just make it more painful for our opponent. Um, we'll just do a normal 5k here so we can get the search using the 1 Don. Mm, here I might go for the Uta again. Actually, this is a hard choice. Probably Uta here because we can then drop two Utahs and really just control the board, keep chipping away at the life slowly, um, try and get a chip damage here. He can just sub it out of it. He chose to take it. He probably wants more draw, more power in his hand. Probably doesn't want us to try and go for his Sabo. I don't know. Um, you probably want to keep it up as a blocker maybe. Uh, do we take this? Yeah, we'll just take it. We have a lot of life and we should try and get our life down a little bit. Oh! Played Isha just ripped two cards out of our hand. Wow. Lost one of our... Well, both of our Utahs. <laughs> so, alright. Well, it's it's a big play from him. It's not bad. Oh, we got the Dofi off the top. Yes. That RNG was so good. Um, we can basically win with Dofi later on when he taps everything down. And we can freeze everything. But for now, I think... Uh, we've got to get rid of that Sabo. Yeah, let's just put a Don up on our... Um, on our Nami, get the search. We'll take the 2k counter so we can control the game further. And he'll just count out of that. We'll do, I think, the same thing again. And see what happens. Okay, we'll get that Utah off the top. That's so good. Oh, 
Nami always hits. If you don't get rid of those Namis early, they just end up uh, com coming out to bite you. We just put the one Don on Zoro, 7k counters out of that too. Maybe we should put an extra Don on Zoro, that was a bad idea, but now we can just put one extra Don on our uh, leader and attack into Sabo. Maybe get the last count out of his hand. Nope, that's it. He was out of, fresh out of counters. Um, we got one blocker up. I've got four Don left. I might just play the Uta and get rid of Sugar. Sugar's done a job. Like, we got to the late game. We got our Dofi in hand. Like, do we really need any more pressure? I think not. So we're going to put the Sugar. Oh! Gets the free Uta destruction off the 10 drop Kuzan. That's really good. Um, he'll swing in. Oh, we can counter out of it. But we'll just block instead. And then we'll see whatever happens next. We can use our... Uh, I think we'll use our counters here. Oh, can we... Yeah, we can just take the hit, actually. And just come back. Because, like, we need more space on our board to play. Um, we'll just play the Dofi now. Freeze down the opponent. So that way they can't untap the next turn. That's such a great ability. So Dofi's ability, um, when you play it, just allows you to get control of the game. He's now minus two attacks with his turn, next turn coming up. We get to do some chip damage on him. He can't do anything about it. Um, that's it. They don't, they don't untap. He's only got one attacker, which is still a big attacker. Oh, he's put the Don on Isha to bring our cost down further. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, he's doing, yeah, he's, he literally, yeah, <laughs> he axed out Dofi, but Dofi is not actually that important. Once he's used his ability to freeze the board. Oh, he's got no blockers. Oh, he's got no blockers here. It's painful for him. He's got no blockers. We'll just drop the seven drop Luffy. Oh, and yeah, he knows it's over. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This uh, has been Alex from Shuffleup. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you guys want to see in my next videos. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Only 5% of our viewers actually are subscribed. So let's pump up those numbers, hit that subscribe button and help support the channel so I can make more videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Alex from Shuffleup.